Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be showing off some engine parts that I got. This is gonna be sort of part one of the engine transformation that we're doing on the E90 M3. We have some parts in and then we have some parts coming in. This is just part one. So you'll have to stay tuned for part two to see the full reveal, full transformation of everything. But let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so starting off right here, we have the headlight covers in carbon fiber. These things are absolutely insane. And as you'll notice, I dropped one of them earlier and cracked it on the first day of having it. So I'm an idiot for that and I'll have to live with that for a second. But I guess I'll have to get a new one or just figure out how to fill those in because it looks absolutely atrocious. Moving on, Downstar bolt kit, uh, or I guess dress up hardware. These will go really good because I have some other parts coming in that I guess will match the red theme. I guess you could probably take a pretty good guess at what that is. And then over here we have the Technocraft cover. This one sits on the left side, so passenger side of the engine bay. All of this was supplied by Sebastian over at Mashimo and of course Sean Rowe. Big shout out to those guys. The box underneath you see, you could probably guess what it is. I'll give you a hint, it's exterior. So we're not gonna be looking at it in this video, but stay tuned for the video for that because that is absolutely wild. So we got these parts right here that we're gonna go ahead and be installing. So let's go ahead and jump down to the garage and get to working on all this stuff. Alright, so now we're down here in the garage and I forgot to mention, I actually got this uh, snorkel sort of intake that goes to the intake right there. Uh, this snorkel I also purchased from Sean. Um, this was also another thing that was huge on the complete transformation of the entire engine. Um, so basically, the Technocraft cover is going to go right about here, headlight covers right about there and there. And then the dress up kit's basically just gonna go everywhere. I may or may not have something for this area coming that may or may not be for part two of the engine transformation. Another thing I was looking at was the cowl filter covers. There, uh, Sean actually sells uh, the OEM cowl cover with basically a carbon overlay on it do you guys think that'd be too much considering that the entire engine bay is gonna be carbon i mean at this point you know the entire thing's gonna be carbon you think it's too much to have these two that one and then this one carbon too let me know uh down in the comments below but with that aside let's go ahead and start installing the headlight covers and then uh we'll move to the technocraft and then potentially do the dress up kit afterwards all right so we're gonna be putting on the headlight covers. I went ahead and put these two bolts in uh, for the dress up kit just because the cover is gonna be blocking those. I don't really, I mean, you're not gonna see them anyways. I just did them just to do them. Just take the other ones out. Um, but first things first for the covers is to take off the two, I guess, screws that are on there right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that if I can remember where I put that screwdriver. Put these two here. These both feel like super weird. Let's see. I think these both have clips underneath that will probably fall as soon as I take this out, I'm assuming. Oh, actually that one stayed in. They all look like that basically. I don't know. Look pretty solid. I think the red's gonna look good. Like I said, I have uh, red accents coming for the car. So, that will be in the engine bay. So hopefully, those tie into it very nicely. 
all this stuff needs to be freaking cleaned out. I can like just feel like all the dirt and grime on this. Hey, you didn't strip it. But I do need to take this off again. All right, so dust cover number one, I believe. That, that's right. God, it just pains me every time I see that crack. And then my good buddy Linton also told me that on these, you want to be super duper careful on uh, putting these in because you can crack the covers, even though I already cracked mine a decent amount. It seems pretty loose to me. All right, that is the first one installed right there. As you can see, it doesn't look too bad, aside from the crack, but with the kit on there, I think it's gonna look awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and start on the other side. All right, so the covers are installed. Next, we're gonna do the dress up bolts for the power steering reservoir right here. So we're gonna be replacing all three of those. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so power steering reservoir is all done. Now we're gonna be moving on to the bumper ones and go ahead and get all of these replaced. All right, so bumper is all set. Here, I believe right after the bumper is going to be the coolant right here. I believe it's only two screws, that one and that one. So we're gonna go ahead and get those replaced. All right, so we got the radiator supports. Those ones too, all are in. Next up is gonna be, there's, uh, I'm not under there, but two, three, four, I believe. There might be, yeah, I think there's possibly four on each side, so we're gonna go ahead and get all of those switched out right now. All right, so fenders are all done. Next up's gonna be the Technocraft uh, cover that goes right here. Um, I still need to figure out how exactly it goes on, but we do have extra screws for everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look at that and then go ahead and start installing the cover on this side. 